Here we are then for another My Team episode and the penultimate round of season number one. Brazil, a very, very fun track to drive. And after this, we go to the new updated Abu Dhabi for the season finale. So first of all, if you haven't seen the previous episode, go check it out, guys. Link in the top right for the Mexican Grand Prix. It was actually an insane race. So go watch it. I don't want to spoil it. But Fernando Alonso did get pole. And that is all I'm going to say. So go check it out. Leave a like if you're going to enjoy this one here today and also go subscribe as we jump into the Pirelli hot lap. So this time we've chosen the drift and we're driving the beautiful Ferrari F8 in the yellow color. And we got a drift on, a run into Lagos and what a beautiful circuit to get the drift going. Some lovely flowing corners to really get that, you know, XP counter going. You can see here I'm just flicking the car and kicking the tail out and I even got an evaluation on the point score it doesn't matter anyway because we've easily smashed the gold standard for the 11,000 points and I'm just having fun trying to see how much I can really kick the tail out my wheels pretty much upside down at multiple points and yeah we easily beat the target score as we achieved I think 13,700 points so yeah fantastic challenge as we get the gold score which will give us a thousand acclaim points and a hundred thousand dollars in extra cash so with that out of the way, we move into the race weekend. And as you guys know, we're trying to save up cash for season two to make some improvements. We, of course, have the regulation change on the way, which we already have protected all the upgrades for. Now, in the background, you can see the weather forecast. And this weekend is a sprint re weekend. So, yeah, the race has got rain forecast as well. So we're going to have a bit of everything, a bit of dry, a bit of rain, a sprint race. It's all going to be a bit of fun and a bit of chaos. We've got a durability upgrade on the car. We've got three th further upgrades arriving soon. And you can see pretty much nearing the end of the season now, the development chart has kind of, I wouldn't say flatlined, but has kind of stabilized a bit. Um, it looks like some teams are still trying to upgrade before the end of the season. So it's going to be a fierce development race heading to season two. All right, get ready to jump out if you get too hot in there. There's a problem with the cooling system and it's going to take us a few minutes to correct it. Now, it wasn't the best start to practice, having a few reliability issues with the cooling system. Nonetheless, eventually, we made our way out on track and we started to get a feel for Interlagos with our car and the conditions. And we smashed the track acclimatization, achieving purple in every single gate. Literally, a perfect score. So, a great way to start off practice after that small issue with reliability. Uh, we then moved to the tire wear test and this one was also a resounding success as you can see here we're heading easily towards the purple score and we're going to get the job done first time of asking so again a very successful program there car feels good working well i'm running 108 difficulty for the entire weekend by the way so bear that in mind um yeah we've got purple so things looking decent we then moved on to the race strategy program and also here as well no dramas as we made our way through the final corner and now just using up a bit of battery to see what kind of pace we can really set on a full-on push lap as we're half a second up on the delta and we're going to smash the score and get purple once again and it also moves us up into p13 behind Perez and Ricardo so it's not looking too shabby at the moment in terms of tire wear you can see we're looking very good again this weekend Brazil is usually known for low tire wear and then also on the lap time we're up by nearly a full second so the pace is very strong as well um, in many areas so after practice uh, we scored a bunch of points got a bunch of discounts which will hopefully be able to make some pretty big upgrades at the end of this episode we have three on the way and I'm hoping to add three more at the end of this episode or at least two so uh, we'll see how that goes but we've got i think like 1600 rnd points right now so we're looking pretty safe on that front now we move to qualifying and of course we've got this three-part kind of weekend so f first of all qualifying then we've got the sprint and then the race so let's take care of this first and see how it goes as we get our helmet on and we're going to get straight into the action so like i mentioned before we're sticking with 108 percent ai for this one and you can see here we're currently at the end of my first push lap Let's see what it is as we set up 1 minute 8.1, which isn't too bad. And uh, we go P9 at the time, eventually push down to last place. Second attempt, I hooked this one up beautifully. The lap was right on the money. It was insane. And you can see here, we're actually four tenths up as we make our way towards the end of sector two and into the start of sector three. So a very good second lap, which could set us up for the final run but we just mess up the exit and go for a spin and I would have been about half a second up 
Uh, so we're looking at like a 1 minute 7.6. Instead, we threw it away and ruined it. So with 20 seconds to go, we're eventually back out for our third attempt on another fresh set of tyres. And we're going to try and see if we can improve the set of definitive lap time on this final run in Q1. So that's the first corner. Spot the 50. Break it after that. Unfortunately, though, Gasly runs wide and it was just a complete distraction as I shake my head. It's not ideal. I'm a tenth down already compared to the previous lap, which was even quicker. So it's been a disaster first sector because we was already like three to four tenths down compared to the hour for the first sector alone. That is my worst sector of the entire lap. And that Gasly distraction did not help one bit. Nonetheless, uh, I tried to keep on pushing and you can see here, we're now, you know, tenth and a half, two tenths up, give or take as we make our way into the technical part of the lap now the low speed low grip trying to find the the mechanical grip in this kind of section and having a few moments of oversteer as well not quite getting the balance fine-tuned like on my previous attempt and you can see here we're only three and a half tenths up which isn't as much as i hoped for compared to the previous lap making our way through the left hander here this time keeping it clean but we're only up by four tenths i don't know what happened but i started to bleed time on the straight, if you look at the delta, I don't understand why completely. Um, I'm running the exact same setup, but I was losing time. Either way, it's only a three and a half tenth improvement, and it's not really what I wanted. So, yeah, P22 and last place, pretty much. Um, disappointing, annoying because we did have some decent pace, and I do believe uh, looking at these gaps, obviously, we could have easily got P20 had we just not ruined our second attempt and maybe an absolutely perfect lap could have maybe had us challenge the TV for P19 but that would have been the absolute maximum here on 108% AR which is not too bad to be fair that's the highest AR running qualifying in a while either way my reaction says it all I am just you know puffing out uh, a bit of frustration as uh, we get another last place qualifying start so yeah guys that's it for qualifying we're now going to move into the sprint race off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole. And Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Verstappen, Sergio Perez, and Fernando Alonso, Norris, Russell, Bottas, and Daniel Ricciardo. Ocon, Magnussen, Mick Schumacher, and Gasly, Joe, Albon, Lance Stroll, and Yuki Tsunoda, Latifi, Vettel, Aitken, and Martinez. And with preparations almost complete, let's head trackside for today's sprint. Here we are, the final sprint race of the season. Brazil, starting from last place in P22. We're going to take a risk this one. Brazil is known for having less tire wear than most circuits. So for this one, we're going to try the soft tire. I'm going to, I'm going to gamble. I was very close to doing this in the Austria sprint, but we went against it at the last moment. This time, we're going to commit. We might struggle with tire at the end, but you know what? Let's have a bit of fun and let's see what happens. And you know, if we start anywhere above P22, that's a bonus. So fuel wise, we'll go 0 0.6 extra. We're not going to go too high. I want to try and keep it as low as possible to stay competitive. And yeah. Pretty simple, really. 12 laps. It's going to be fun. Leave a like and let's get into it. Here we go. Let's try and get her lined up. And we're going to hope the soft tyre can play a difference for us. Aggression is going to be key. We're going to have to try and work on that as well. But let's line her up. There we go. We'll take that. Decent enough. Right. Sprint time. Let's do this. 12 laps ahead of us. Nice, nice, nice. Good start. Using the soft tire straight away. We're going to force our way on, on the inside here. The vet will try to move across there on the braking zone, but we're going to go around the outside of turn two. Straight away up to P17. Excellent launch. Excellent start. ERS management will be key. I think we're a bit down for it on speed as usual, so important that we try to manage that throughout the 12 laps. Of course, no pit stops, so it's all going to be about overtaking on track, and right now that's the objective as we head into the second sector. This is going to be an opportunity for us into the hairpin. Whoa, AI getting aggressive. They definitely uh, changed that for this year. They're actually defending and covering off the inside. 
as we try to go around the outside of Zhou Guanyu. Inside into the second hairpin. We'll try and traction up on the soft tyre. Just like that. Up to P16. Excellent start. We've got Albon, Schumacher, Gasly, Magnussen all battling ahead here. Right, this could get very spicy with the whole straight line speed situation. We're going to have to drain some battery as we are down. And uh, Joe actually pits so we can turn the battery off. Three abreast up ahead. Gasly, Magnussen, Albon. Let's be careful here. Front wing is preferably going to look a lot better on my car than somebody else's. Easy does it. Come on, come on. Let's try and see if we get an opportunity. Stroll is going to get the slipstream here. Oh no. Damn it. That's my bad. That's on me. I broke myself. Let's just be careful here. The AI are going to still be aggressive. On the floor damage isn't going to help. Let's try to make some moves here. I'm struggling to hang on to Stroll and the car to head. Soft tyres and not a particularly great race tyre. No, not that I'm overheating or struggling for tyre wear, just I don't have a lot of grip. Maybe that's the car itself, who knows. But yeah, I'm struggling to hang on here and I feel like I can't really push too much. Tyre temps are starting to get a little bit high. So that is becoming an issue. As you can see, I'm struggling with balance. So Sonoda has a good chance of getting past me here. Yeah, I don't know what it is. The balance is off. Maybe it's the floor damage. That's maybe all I can think of because the car didn't feel that bad that long ago. But now we're, we're struggling to stay afloat. There goes the Latifi as well. Well, it looks like P20 for us. This race is going to be the most likely outcome, I think. Because we're not going to box to repair the floor because otherwise... Well, number one, that's impossible. Number two, we're going to do so much time. There's no point. So, yeah. Um, I'm not going to fight Aiken. I'm actually going to let him go. He's got a better chance than me of getting points. So that could be the end of our sprint race already. Unless there's a safety car and we get a chance to box with softs again. I can't keep up. I'm about to drop out of the RS range now. I just don't have the pace. Pace isn't too bad, to be fair. I've got to stay off the curbs. And that seems to be okay for us. That's the main thing. If I get on them high curbs, the car balance just goes everywhere. So... We'll just bring this home in P20 and call it a day for the sprint. Oh, okay, Alex Albon pits. So that will give us an extra place, which is good for us, P19. I am wondering, you know, I'm thinking back to the grid rundown, and I remember seeing a load of penalties being applied, you know, next to drivers' names, but they haven't taken effect in the sprint race. I don't know the regulation, whether penalties carry over to this, or whether they get applied for the actual race after. If that's the case, we'll be starting higher up than P19, so... You know, this hasn't been too bad of a sprint, even though right now I've just given up. I'm basically not using any ERS. I'm trying to save the engine and just, you know, finish the race, really. But we could start maybe like P17 or something. So let's see how that goes. And there we go. Sprint race done. P19 for us. Maybe higher. Fuel was fine. Tires held on okay. ERS, just trying to save up the engine, really. But there we go. Welcome along then to where heroes and history are made. It's where the 2008 title was decided in the very final corner. And just one year later, Jensen Button stormed through from 14th on the grid to claim his one and only driver's championship. It's time then for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Interlagos, always a very special race here in Brazil. It's a 2.7 mile circuit with nine left turns and six right turns for a total of 15 corners. It's a wet one today as well, so grip and visibility will be at a premium and the drivers will need to be careful coming up the hill in sector three, the scene of many an accident over the years. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Fernando Alonso lines up on pole position and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Sainz, Daniel Ricciardo and Hamilton. They've taken a grid penalty. Russell, Verstappen, Bottas and Esteban Ocon. Gasly, Mick Schumacher, 
Lance Stroll and Sonoda. Martinez, Albon, Nicholas Latifi. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Sebastian Vettel. Aitken, Joe, they've taken a grid penalty. Magnussen and Lando Norris starts from the back of the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Fernando Alonso is on pole again. The second time in two races. Admittedly, this wasn't on merit. This was due to penalties. But still, he's starting P1 today. And Charles Leclerc P2, worth noting for the championship battle, the gap between Hamilton and Leclerc is just four points. Leclerc leads right now. Hamilton, of course, finished second in the sprint yesterday, but had a penalty, so Leclerc now starts ahead. So that battle is going to continue. Ferrari are now Constructors' champions, so the battle is purely down for the Drivers' Championship. For us, though, we've got an opportunity today. I forgot about the rain. I was too focused on the sprint, and we're starting 15th, which is mega. So... Fuel-wise, I'm going to take a bit of a risk and run it a bit low. I'm going to go 0.2 negative. I feel like we should usually save fuel in the wet rather than use and burn. I'm hoping to basically stay on the inters as long as I have to and then go for the dry tyre. The longer this drags on, the better our chances that AI might pit for a second set of inters. That's kind of my hope in this race and kind of my silver bullet. But yeah. Let's get into it. Let's see what happens and let's hope for some points. Hopefully the race pace is better with an actual floor and fingers crossed we can try and deliver. Now before we get into the race start, let's quickly get a weather update. The radar is showing a clear patch on its way. There's about 10 more minutes of this race. We're not certain which is the best tyre right now, dries or inters. So 10 more minutes of this rain, that doesn't mean dry tyres in 10 minutes. So let's see, 36 laps ahead of us. And the rain could be here for at least 10 laps, possibly, intermediates anyway. That's going to be interesting. Either way, I want to try and go straight into the dryers and do just one stop this race onto a medium or a hard tyre. Perfect. Right, let's get to work. Let's do this. We've got a chance today. Excellent start. Really good traction off the line. Into turn one we go. Let's be careful here. Three abreast. As we try to get through and we managed to pull it off. That was a lovely move. And Schumacher has a moment. That moves us up into the top 12. That is a great start from us on the intermediate. Had nice tyre temp. Everything worked out beautifully. Let's try to not throw this away now and take full advantage of this position. I'm praying for once, even though we've got no straight line speed, our pace in the wet can bail us out. You just saw there, Schumacher, how quickly he was catching up to us as we make our way to the hairpin. I'm going to try and have a look around the outside of Pierre, but no grip for us on the front end. Schumacher looking very racy behind. This is a good start for us, P12. I would have taken this, that's for sure. Let's try and stay alive now. Not sure where the grip is. I'm just trying to find my way around. This is my first nap in these conditions, whereas the AI are used to the dry and the wet. It doesn't matter for them. You know, they're just constantly fast. Schumacher coming through here. I tried to close the door a bit, but it didn't really work. I did stop his momentum, though, which is good. But it looks like the Haas has a lot of straight line speed as we make our way down to turn one. And Stroll's going to make it three wide. My god, Stroll ran that in very, very deep. We're going to hold on, though. And stay ahead for now. Okay, Jack's coming in for his stop now. Oh, my god. Look at that. No chance. The momentum Stroll had on me there was just crazy. The AI gets so much top-end speed, even without DRS. Oh, my god. What is going on? Come on. How can I not track another of AI? Here comes Schumacher again. I don't have an answer to this ridiculous patrol line speed that they have. I don't have an answer. No point in me fighting. No DRS yet. Still offline. But we have seen this game that you can use DRS in the wet. So the track starts to dry. We get DRS enabled. That's a sign that we're making our way towards dry tyres. But we can still stick with the Inter. We're not going to box two ahead of ourselves and get, you know, too erratic. 50% differential is so good in the wet. It makes such a difference. I just went down and remembered this is the uh, the better setting. And we're finding a bit of pace as we 
dip into the 115s. Having said that, we've got no pace really, but luckily cars behind are battling. But I've been left alone to do my thing and I'm starting to find a bit of a rhythm, which is helping us out. So we're just starting to get a bit of a gap to Vettel, Norris and Sonoda, who are all battling for P15. Meanwhile, Stroll Schumacher are way too fast for us. Well, we're going to get absolutely demolished here by Sebastian Vettel and Lando Norris. So they both make their way through. I'm not even going to waste my battery really battling. I'm just going to do my own race. These two are much quicker than me, so we're not going to waste time. Especially Lando, the McLaren, I think it's the third best team on the grid right now, the fourth best team, so totally out of our league. Unlike the start of the season, when they were the team directly above us in the team comparison chart. There you go. Lando goes through. Easy move for him. Yellow flag. Ooh, okay, yellow flag. Sergio Perez. He's just stopped on the curb. Looks like he's either retiring or... Okay, Perez has rejoined, so he must have just had a mistake. We've got another yellow up ahead. Ricardo out the race. This one's legit. Then Ricardo out for McLaren, so that's going to move us up into P14. Oh, God. Big moment. Oh, that's why I've not been talking much, trying to focus. My pace was actually okay. I was just starting to hold on and stay ahead of Magnussen and Sonoda. It seems like maybe Magnussen, Sonoda and Joe Gwen, you were all maybe damaged on the wing maybe or something because they weren't that quick. But um, that mistake just cost me. Either way, the RS now enables so the track is drying. So we'll see how long it takes before we get into the dry tire. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Damn it. Literally just passed the pits. Well, that's, that's for inches, not for dries. The AI are untouchable right now, by the way. They're in this kind of dry weather, intermediate phase, they're just unstoppable. So, uh, Jack is in the pits. Jack is in the pits. we've got no chance, you know. I was kind of able to match the pace before, but now for some reason, the minute the DRS enabled sign flashed up on the screen, the AI have just picked up the pace. Confirmed. Now that's dries. I'm gonna, I think, go for the hard tire and try to go to the end. I think it's worth a shot. The track really dried up quick, unlike other times. Anyway, we'll let's box and uh, get a hard tire on. Albon closing in, but we're ahead going to the pits. Oh my god, that was close. Almost sped. Although, to be fair, the line's are actually further back than I thought. Never mind, didn't speed at all. Probably lost time, actually. Okay, let's time this. Please don't screw me over, team. Otherwise, we're going to lose a lot of places if this does happen. Okay, nice. 2.5. For some reason, there was no revs. So I thought the engine was going to die, but... Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. So, AI all on softs. And now we're going to be struggling on the hards. This is going to be so painful. We're usually slow on cold tyres anyway. This is going to be another level of pain. I'm not even going to fight these two. We're just going to let them go. Just going to be completely counterproductive to fight them. It does feel like I've got no pace though, even with the floor, so just a bad track for us. No pace, even on 108. Yeah, look at that, no grip at all. Here comes Joe. Straight past, easiest move you'll ever make. Now the thing is that AI have got to stop again, of course, because they're on softs, and then I'm assuming they'll go to the end or whatever tire they go for. So we will get these places back as long as we don't lose our 20 seconds in four laps but you can see I'm still struggling for grip massively compared to those on soft the track isn't fully there yet in terms of dries Checo in the pits probably damage again so we'll gain the place back move up into P18 as we set a personal best one minute 10.6 Leclerc set a fast lap last time around one minute 8.4 <laughs> so we're 2.2 seconds off the leader pace I'm starting to find the race pace though as we, uh, we're now starting to kind of level out the gap to Latifi and Aiken and the cars ahead aren't pulling away so much anymore so let's see. I'm looking at the Haas on the minimap. I think that's uh, Magluson. I think that's who we're racing today as a finishing position. I think we can get ahead of Magluson maybe. Aiken pits. Okay, Jack's coming in for a stop now. So I'm assuming more AR cars will follow suit very soon. Although it looks like the soft tires aren't dropping because they're still catching up and pulling away from me, respectively, so I think we're just shit. Like we're just slow, you know, simple as, but the hard tires and working great pace-wise. 
He's trying to put his nose in there, but we just close the door on him. I'd love a safety car on this race again, like every race, but run towards the end so I can use my safe mediums. That would be perfect. Here comes Nicholas, but he's going to pit, so there we go. Sonoda in the pits as well. Joe Guan Yu stays out. And then a bunch of other cars who have already pit and rejoined their ahead of him now. Some of them are medium, going to the end, so... Looks like a lot of them aren't even going to go for the hard tire, so we're going to be at disadvantage anyway. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be, unfortunately, not the race I hoped for. I was hoping for a lot more, but didn't really work out that way. Albon Magnussen in the pits. We should get both of them, only just, I think. We lost that much time that I think I'm only just going to jump them. Or maybe even not jump them at all, actually. Okay, yeah, we are ahead by a couple of seconds, but they'll be on the back of us soon. P15 for now. This would be a great moment for a safety car. And the final car to pit, Mr. Zhou Grand Yu. So that's going to move us into P14. And now it's all going to be downhill from here. So I'm expecting to get overtaken quickly by those on the fresh minis behind. I'm also not going to make it on fuel at this rate. So I have to start saving. And I'm running low on battery as well. So it's not looking great. I'm not going to lie. Magnussen now closing in. Albon also not too far behind. Personal best from us on that lap. Still not really nowhere near enough pace to do a job. We're not going to fight Magnussen here, so he will get the run and pass easily. And then Albon will probably pass shortly after on the main straight. We're going to have DRS on Magnussen, so I might just be able to keep Albon at bay for now. Perez also will have to wait. Maybe not. <laughs> Albon strapped the inside. And Perez trying to stick his nose in as well. And... <sighs> I'm getting tired now. Just getting tired. I want this season to end. I want to go to the next season. Oh, come on. Oh, just no answer. Straight line speed is crazy. That curb just keeps messing me up every single time. Got on the TV, off you go, mate. Right, let's uh, try and finish ahead of our teammate who got taken out in the first lap. <laughs> Great. Let's let Racy de Leclerc by as Joe Sonoda and Latifi battle away. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, what happened? Let me know you're okay. Come our winners now, a thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. Now then, race done. I don't really um, know what to say. Hamilton, Leclerc, that's the only thing I talk about really battle-wise because there's nothing for us to talk about about our race, but Leclerc wins. And I'm not going to lie, I don't really know what to talk about after that. Um, one race to go. I'm not enjoying this at the minute, but um, we'll try and push through. I just find the straight line speed issue extremely unenjoyable. And uh, co if you're watching, Please fix it, please, honestly. Um, because I can race on 110. I can feel I can race on 110. In the corners, I'm okay. But on the straight, I just bleed time. And I shouldn't be faster than the other cars around me in the corners. So it's hard to find that balance. Anyway, um, confirmation of our retirement with that crash. Uh, out of the race with Ricardo. Ocon also out. 
eight couldn't finish at the back, P19. In the Drivers' Championship, Leclerc put 14 points into Lewis going into the final race. That might be the dagger to, uh, you know, maybe put one hand on the trophy for Charles Leclerc. Heading into Abu Dhabi, 18 points ahead of Hamilton. With 26 up for grabs, it could be the close championship and it could be the double for Ferrari as they already have won the constructors. We're three points ahead of AlphaTauri, which is a bit of an issue. Um, you know, Pierre Gasly scored four points in the race today. P8, I forgot to mention that, so not ideal, but we're still ahead. One race remains. I think we're going to be okay to hold on. Either way, it's not great and I can't wait for season two. Ah, uh, just... It's becoming a problem now. I think I'm have to go back on the sliders for season two. I don't know. Um, this is really frustrating. Uh, right, we've got. I know that we've got a discount here, so we'll take that as well. Can we afford anything else? Potentially, heave dampers too expensive. Uh, engine magnetic compound too expensive. ECU, we'll take that. Why not? Um, Durability, not worth doing anything here because the regulation change. Only a three-day turnaround till the next race, so we'll just do. Second trial performance review, why not? Um, but yeah, we go again in Abu Dhabi, the last race of the season. Hopefully I can enjoy it a bit with the new layout and have a bit of fun. Um, but yeah, other than that guys, that is going to be it for me here today. Uh, leave a like, subscribe for more if you want to see daily F1 content. Season 2, I've got big plans and I'm praying we need a really good off season. I'm saving up the cash, we're at 5.8 mil. I'm trying to save up because the off season is going to be massive for us. Um, you can see we've got all these upgrades on the way right now. It just feels like we can never quite catch up, we're always like a step behind every other team, which is really frustrating. So um, yeah, hopefully that arrived. Either way guys, that is going to be it. As always, a massive shout out to the members for supporting the content. Finally, check out the videos on screen if you haven't seen them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and let's go out from me.